Real estate promotional videos can be a very good source of income for a video maker, but how do we do it? We'll talk about it today after the intro. Hi, welcome to my house for today. Seems all good times come and go. As Brad Pitt would say in Glorious Bastards, Buongiorno. and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time for you tuning in, I'm a content producer. I create content for myself and for companies. If you want to check it out, go at mamoair.com after this video. In this vlog, we talk about how to create a promotional video for real estate. We are going through how to film it, the camera gear, some advice on how to find clients, and also the editing process. It's gonna be a long one, so hold on. Today I'm in Calamansi Villa here, part of the Porto Diniwit properties, which are in Diniwit, of course, Boracay, Philippines. I'm here today to film a promotional video for this wonderful house. Let's go check it out. Now, if you're asking yourself, what do I actually film? This is key for your video. So make sure you get a clear brief from your client. Make sure you know the key feature of the house or the building you're going to film. In the end, don't forget that your video is going to sell the house. So you don't want to miss those key features. Usually luxury villas have an amazing view and swimming pools. Make sure you grab those. Another piece of advice I've been given years back and I really treasure is to film as much as you can. And this stands for any kind of filming you will ever do in your life. So film as much as you can from different angles, different lenses. If you have them, of course, it's better to have more footage than less. You've got an amazing swimming pool here facing the sea, the ocean, and you've got Dinewit Beach right here below. You got a private bar there at the end. Uh, you can see there. When you are in the building, so you're starting to film, if there is someone in the house, make sure you warn them that you're actually filming so they don't get in the shot like in this clip. Unless of course you have some models acting for your promotional video and that's a different story. Make sure all the objects are set as you wish. Um, if they're not, just feel free to move them and then, you know, reposition them when you finish filming. And probably you will have also to uh, give it a cleanse once in a while, especially if you do a close-up shot. And I'm gonna show you this room. Ah! Billiard room. Unfortunately, unfortunately it's covered. You have a billiard right here. Oh, you got, you got a tub. <laughs> right, I think this is my favorite room now. Do you know the funny thing? I've seen this villa before and like, whoa, breathtaking. Uh, you got an end suite for each room. And look at the view, come on, look at the view. Wow. <laughs> Let's talk about camera gear and I'm gonna give you some ideas and combination of kits that you can actually use to achieve great results. Of course it would be amazing to have a great camera, uh, at least a couple of lenses, a gimbal, a tripod and a drone. But to be honest you can create a professional video just with the camera and a lens. If you have a tripod, even better, it can be a very cheap one. Don't forget how clean and professional steady shots can actually be. Let's talk about my camera gear, for example. I own a Sony a7R Mark III, which has a great internal stabilizing system, and combined with the Sony G Master lenses, which again have internal stabilization, I could achieve some pretty stable footage even while walking. To make sure the footage is actually smoother in post-production and the, during the video editing process, I'm gonna add some more stabilization. Another trick that can help cheating a little bit on the shakiness of the image is to film in slow motion. Depending on the brightness of the rooms, you could also film at 100 frames per second. I mentioned the brightness of the room because, as you might know, your shutter speed, which is essentially your exposure time, should be double your frame rate, which also means that you will have a darker image compared to when you film at 25 frames per second, for example, where your shutter speed would be at 150 instead of 1 200 if you film at the 100 frames per second. 
Lenses. For this kind of jobs, I usually use two different lenses, a 16-35mm and a 24-70mm. I own Sony G Master lenses with a maximum aperture at 2.8, indicated as f2.8, which is quite bright. And the brightness of your lens is key features for this kind of job because as I mentioned above you might be filming in pretty dark indoor spaces. I would say anyway as a main lens I would use the 16-35 millimeter. You could also go wider you can you can use a 10 or a 12 millimeter but make sure you have a no distortion lens which means that the straight lines of the environment are actually straight and not curved like a like a fisheye effect basically. I also use the 24-70mm to take some details of the house, some nice features worth showing to a potential customer. It could be anything from hand painting ties to the chrome steel taps in the bathrooms. With this lens I can achieve also pretty good macro light shots. I think it's about time for drone. Hmm. Drone, if you have one, that would be ideal. Aerial shots nowadays are very requested and they can show the building from a amazing perspective, giving a total vision of the land and the house. If you don't have a drone, make sure you take some shots from a bit further away from the building and from different angles, that could be an idea. Gimbal, I have a DJI Ronin S, which is a great setup with my camera. I don't think this is essential, to be honest. Um, as I mentioned before, you could just use the camera on a tripod or also handheld if it has a good stabilization. If you don't have a gimbal but you do have a drone, make sure you use it indoor. I don't mean to fly it indoor, but essentially a drone, don't forget, is a flying gimbal. So you can just hold it and walk around the house like in this shot. <laughs> Let's talk about how to find clients. That's the question I hear a lot. And I'm gonna give you only one tip about this. Go to real estate fairs. If you have business cards, even better, you will give the impression that you're actually serious and you know what you're doing. In any case, go and talk to people. This is another advice I've been given. If you wanna achieve anything in life, you need to talk to people, you need to have people around you. At the end, they are the key for your achievements. You can't do everything on your own. So networking, it's fundamental. The people will actually appreciate your initiative of being there and promoting yourself. If you've never done these kind of videos before, uh, my suggestion is to practice. Like in anything else in life, unfortunately, you need to practice. If you want to give it a go, ask your friend to go and film his house, try to sell his house, try to make it look good, find the right angles, try to grab the best features of it. So from here you can start building up a showreel and then you can start forwarding it to agencies. Now let's jump to the computer and talk about video editing. Here we are in Premiere Pro guys editing this promo, actually I've already edited so you will see the final edit on my timeline but you can see the final promo as well at the link below here in the description of this blog. This is one minute video and to start with you want to show the clip that can represent the house you're trying to sell. Drone shot for me was the best to begin with. It's a wide shot, I can see the ocean in the background, I can see the pool, I can see how big the house is. So this clip can sell my house in the first five seconds. I hold it for three, three seconds or so. Remember you want to give enough time to the viewer to actually see the house. This is a promotional video to sell the place, it's not a trailer for the Avengers. So don't rush the shots, just let them, let them breathe, give them air and uh, yeah, give them some space. Important thing, in most all the videos actually, you might want to start with an establishing shot, so a wide angle of the location and that's what I try to do in this video. And then step by step you, you build and you go inside the place. Try to create a story as well, so from the establishing shot, so from, from outside we're going inside, we can see the living room and we can see the kitchen and then we go upstairs as you can see here. It kind of takes me to an, a different level to the bedrooms uh, right here. So try to create a story even, even though it's a promotional video for a house. As you can see they're quite slow, slow paced clips. Don't, don't rush it again. Now here we were indoor so I was showing this uh, jacuzzi and we wanted to go outdoor again to show the, the last clips. Um, it, it wouldn't really fit in a way because you are because it was a sudden jump so from the from indoor to outdoor so what I did I just cre created a black a fade into black so fade out and fade in again from black to the clip and we are outside 
I'm gonna show you this clip quickly. Okay. So I just added a scale. I scaled the clip up just to give it a bit of cinematic uh, motion. So you select, I just selected my clip. I went to effect controls right here and I created a keyframe at the beginning of the clip which is scale uh, 100 and then at the end of the clip I, I, I scale it up to 103 as you can see here so that's 103 now this scale also, the scale um, helps me to introduce the next clip, which is actually um, a dolly in, so a dolly forward. This is actually a drone shot, so the drone was flying forward, and yeah, it, it kind of links nicely to that. And the next shot as well, which is an outdoor shot of the bar. So just try to link the clips as well, that kind of makes sense. Don't just put clips randomly, uh, like you wouldn't do in any other edit anyway. And then I close with a white shot, with a drone shot again, showing the house and the landscape. And I'm gonna add a bit of title at the end, like an end word with the, with the name of the villa right there. In terms of music, I use this music, it's quite cool and up to date. You can find it on a Premium Beat, that's a quite nice uh, audio library. You can just pay for the individual track, you don't need to have a yearly license uh, and so on like audio network or uh, epidemic music and stuff like that another thing i can show you quickly in the edit uh, of course you need to do some color grade because you've got different cameras different environments and different lights so what i do with my clips i do the edit first i leave the i leave the audio mix and the grading as last things to do in my edit so i work on the first clip usually on the level so you can open up your Instagram here, uh, Lumetri Scopes, and these will give you the black and whites level and then the RGB as well, as you can see here. So make sure the white balance is correct, and then I open a reference monitor, which you can find here. Okay, so what I do is, uh, this is my reference monitor, I just put it on the side. So what I do, I take I keep this first shot as reference and then I'm going to modify and match clip by clip until the end of the video with the first uh, clip. So what I do again, I work on the levels, black and white and uh, white balance and also I create a, a, a grade to begin with and I try to reproduce it in all the other clips. That's what I did in this video. If you wanted to, you can create another adjustment layer all over throughout, throughout the whole video. So if you want to add a vignette, for example, or another another grade to the entire video, that's what you can do. These were quick insights of the editing of this particular video. I hope it helps. Let's go back to the villa. I guess now it's time for me to choose a room for tonight. I guess it's time. So as I do so, and it can probably take me a few hours to decide which room um, in which room to sleep tonight. Um, please consider to subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, link in the description about the villa. Amazing. See you soon. Seems all good times come and go, y'all.